Hi, this is Phil Chandler. I just want to take this opportunity of talking to you a bit more about the EcoFloor because there's been a lot of chat about it on Facebook and various other places and uh, I wanted to explain what my thinking was behind it. Now, this, what we're looking at here is um, a half-built, what I've called a pagoda hive and you'll kind of see why that I call it that in a minute when I finish building it. Um, it's made up from loose uh, long boxes as you can see. It's designed to take a couple of dozen half dadent frames and you can see that there's nothing holding, holding it together except wishful thinking and gravity frankly um, but that's okay and it, it does actually um, form quite a robust hive when it's finished and you'll see why when I finished it. Now, over here we have a colony um, in one of Brother Adam's old modified dadent hives which has actually a double row of half dadent frames in it with bees on and I'm going to transfer those bees into this pagoda hive but the point of interest here is that I'm constructing um, an, a version of the eco floor using well dead wood and uh, this is dead wood that's just lying around the place I mean there's, there's quite a bit of it here in various stages of decay the idea is to introduce into the hive uh, something approximating to the environment found in a hollow tree because in the hollow tree there are all kinds of things. I mean here you're looking at a, a lump of semi-rotten wood and it's got wood lice on it, it's even got a slug on it. There's all sorts of things lurking in those crevices and uh, who knows what they are. But the point is that these are creatures that have evolved alongside the honeybee and they will have some sort of relationship with the honeybee. And what we're trying to do with the eco floor is to recreate or rebuild those relationships which have become removed in the last hundred years or so of modern beekeeping because we have become obsessed with um, hives that are essentially sterile boxes. Now no, no species in nature lives in a sterile environment. No species in nature lives on its own away from all other creatures so it seems completely logical to me that we should expect honeybees to do that thing, to, to live on their own, isolated from other creatures. So sterilising woodwork um, seems to me uh, a rather pointless activity. What we should be doing is recreating the natural environment of the bee if we want to help the bees solve their own problems. So the eco floor is a way of doing that thing and as, as I'm talking I'm just breaking up a a stick here <clears throat> and putting it into the hive. Now there's all sorts of stuff on here. There's there's probably molds, there's yeasts, there's um, certainly lichens and um, mosses, all kinds of things going on here that bees may conceivably be using in some way that we don't fully really understand yet. And there are undoubtedly, to my mind, symbiotic relationships going on between bees and these other creatures and these other species that we have no clue about. So what I'm trying to do now is to create a layer inside the hive of semi-rotten wood and then I'm going to go and pick up stuff from the floor. So right here there is um, leaf mould, just general floor litter that's accumulated over the last few years containing all sorts of lovely things and that's going to go and form part of this floor because obviously we want to be using as far as possible materials from the local environment when we're talking about making bees comfortable in their nest um, you know they, we want them to be comfortable with uh, species that they're familiar with already and so I'm just going to pack this floor now <clears throat> with handfuls of this material that I'm picking up from around the hive. It's nice friable um, leaf litter, floor litter from the overhanging trees and you can see there's quite a few beech trees here just coming into leaf. There's a pl new plantation of trees over here. But um, this material is made up from decomposing leaves and wood and all sorts of stuff that's lying around. And so I'm just going to grab samples of it. Here's some, for example. Um, I'm going to go a little bit deeper than I was there because what I want here is, look at this lovely soil. That's beautiful stuff. So I'm going to put some handfuls of that in the hive 
because amongst that soil will be creatures like, for example, Stratuli lapsimitus, which is a little predatory mite, which um, we know has quite an appetite for varroa mites. And of course, varroa mites are one of the key things that are causing bees problems today. So I'm sure, I haven't done a microscopic examination, but I'm quite sure that amongst the soil here, there will be creatures, if not Stratulilaps itself, but certainly similar creatures that do similar jobs of tidying up in the woods. Um, and they're the things that we want in close proximity to the bees. Because those are the, these are the species, remember, that bees have evolved alongside over tens of millions of years. So here's the pagoda hive constructed. We've designed this so it will take uh, short top bars. Um, this is actually the top bar of a half dayden frame, but it will take these short top bars like that, and it will also take um, half dayden frames as they come out of the uh, of the mill. So and it can be worked um, either as a, a one box framed hive or a, um, a top bar hive bearing in mind that as you can see from down here already there have been some attachments to the sides but uh, that's, this is an experimental hive anyway so we don't know how that's going to work in practice um, but it's quite a decent volume and it's big enough for a, for a decent sized colony, certainly. Everything's on one level, so it has the advantages of uh, not having to lift boxes. The top boxes are similar. That's a bit of old comb on there, I'll leave that in there for now. Um, the top boxes sit like this, so there's two of them, and they sit over the colony like that. Now, the, uh, there will be a separator as well. There'll be um, something like a sheet of, or possibly two sheets of nylon mesh in between the tops of the frames and these boxes. But as you can see, if I turn it up, you can see that box itself has got mesh underneath just to retain the wood chips and stuff in here. Um, this I'm going to replenish a bit with some of the soil as well um, to, again, regenerate that kind, same kind of environment. So the bees' top and bottom of them have a an environment which is very similar to that inside a hollow tree and that's the that's exactly the thinking that we're trying to to follow here okay so two of those boxes fit neatly across the length and I can continue to add my soil material in these in these boxes alongside the wood chips um, we expect of course that this stuff will rot down I mean that's the kind of the point in a way um, there are lots of species that thrive on rotting wood and those are the things that bees will know um, will have formed relationships with over the years because they they will have been in close proximity to them for a long long time so if we can introduce some of those into our hive so much the better and we'll see how the bees get on with them now <coughs> To be honest, I haven't done a microscopic examination of this soil, but I'm, ga I'm gauging by its um, general kind of healthiness that, um, and the fact that it supports so much verdant growth here that it's, uh, it's good quality soil and it's got all the right things in it. So that's pretty much the setup, and on top of that, of course, there will be a roof to keep the rain off, and um, as you can see, there's an entrance. It's one box up from the floor and there's three holes there so that should be plenty for the bees. Um, this is the colony that's going to go in it. There's a nice little colony here of dark bees that are going to be transferred into it in a moment and the entrance is going to be roughly at the same sort of height that they're used to going in and out of so they shouldn't find any difficulty relocating. So there we go. Pagoda hive eco-floor, eco-roof, and uh, we'll see how they get on. <laughs>